Good shot right over the beak of Frankie. Yeah. As this capacity crowd looks on here. He's got a nose like Bruno San Martino. You know that, don't you? That boy, that bird. <laughs> you better hope that Bruno doesn't hear you say that. I don't mind. He can hang by his nose and pick cherries. You know ah. that. And they're going to be watching coming up pretty soon what Hulk Hogan is going to answer. I can tell you right now, he's going to say, here's the belt. I've got personal business. Please. Six man tags. Hey, I've got three of the greatest wrestlers in the world. The Hart Foundation, the Hitman, the Anvil, and Danny Davis, the newest member of the Hart Foundation. Open contracts, baby. Come on down, Daddy. Come on down. Thank you, Jack Tunney, you big fat slob. You've made me a happy man. <laughs> oh, Danny, you're great, baby. Look at this. Open contracts. We've got them all here. You're going to sign him? Oh, what do you mean? I'm going to sign I've already signed him. What are you? Read my lips, man. Are you dancing? Are you right, dumb? Right. The newest member, Danny Davis. <laughs> Roll them on soon here along with Kenny Resnick and the Slickster. Indeed, the man of style and fashion. Uh, I think you might have outsmarted yourself a little bit, Slickster. You took all that money from Bobby the Brain Heenan. What, what are you going to do with it? You're going to bet it on a match coming up in WrestleMania you know, 3. I know that. You know, aside from being big Monsoon and ugly, I know what to say. Aside from being big and ugly, you're quite a nosy man. I never give out details about my intimate business because everybody's business is nobody's business. You know what I mean, Daddy? Do you have certain plans for the uh, Pontiac Silverdome? Just believe this, that after... You want to state something in fact instead of just running your mouth? Uh, if you would uh, be Go quiet ahead. just a moment. Go Thank ahead. you, big man. After WrestleMania, brother, three. It hasn't even happened yet. Will you please... Are you here to oh, interview gorilla, or to interrupt? Gorilla, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen Butch Reed's name mentioned at all either. in conjunction no. with... Let me tell you something, Reed. brother. It won't be no WrestleMania 3 if Butch Reed's not in it. Silverdome, Pontiac Mission, March 29th, the greatest wrestling event of all time coming at you. Gorilla Monsoon once again here in the locker room area of the Boston Gardens with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, undoubtedly one of the most unique wrestlers of all time to come along here in the World Wrestling Federation and hats off to you Rick and hats off to you coming back in general to professional wrestling. Well thank you very much. I'd like to thank all the fans in the Boston area for their letters, their get well cards. But very quickly I'd like to hit on a subject that I'm sure is going to be of a lot of importance to everybody out there and in concerning this that I have got an open contract for this big date that's coming up for WrestleMania number three. March 29th. And there's one person I have my sights on, and I guess there's no secret to everybody out there that it's you, Randy Savage. Live up to your title as the Macho Man. Live up to your title as the Intercontinental Champion. Put your name on that contract. Sign the dotted line. Win, lose, or draw, brother. You and I have got to settle the differences, but let's do it in front of millions of people. I'm sure, Rick, that he won't be too anxious to sign that contract. Plenty of action still to come here in the Boston Gardens. We'll be back. Tomorrow. For the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship, it is scheduled for one fall. Too much. Now you, you'll come out here. What are you going to do for us today? You're going to show us some talent. That's what you told me. First of all, I know how. He loves to hear music. He loves music. Do you play a flute? Oh, come on. I know all of my fine fans, all the people that voted for the Honky Tonk Man and gave me all this support I needed. They want to hear the Honky Tonk Man sing. They want to hear me do my Honky Tonk song. You're going to sing? Well, Will you sing to him? Oh, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. If you keep the snake back, the honky tonk man will sing, okay? Are you going to sing for us now? What are you going to sing? Huh? What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing my song that I put out that Elvis Presley imitated. He tried to take it away from the honky tonk man. It's called That's All Right, Honky Tonk Mama. Get him back there, honky. Come on, guys. All right. All right. I'll quit. I'll quit. I'll quit. I know that you want to do this. I want you to go ahead and make a complete idiot of yourself and sing something. Well, I'm not going to make an idiot of myself. I'm fixing this thing. I know they're all ready out there. Are you ready, Colonel? Are you ready, Colonel? Here, I'll hold the microphone over here and the snake over here. Just keep the snake back. The honky tonk man's ready. I know how. Shut your filthy mouth! You two guys are too much. You know that? You two guys ain't got no gut. Your boy stinks. Your boy stinks. You know what I mean? Huh? You know what I mean? You made an idiot of yourself.
manager, the doctor of style. One pound, the dream team, Frank the Hammer Valentine and Brutus Beefcake. Replay now. Got some confusion over here. Here's Scott. You know, looking into the dollars. You think he's got Martell. Here he's cutting the hair of Beefcake. When Beefcake realizes this, of course, gets very, very upset. And look at this now. While he was arguing with Adrian Adonis, Martell's behind me. Just curled him back and I thought him with a quick down to one to three. Oh, my!